are we doing tonight? Chris uh, has not prepared anything tonight. No. And John has prepared something tonight. <laughs> uh, would you cover your ears so I can tell the audience what Absolutely. I have prepared? Um, usually I do a play, but this time I did The Watchmen, the graphic novel. <gasps> I'm going to be Dr. Manhattan. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm ready. Gloria, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just cleaning up a little bit before the, the strikings get here. Uh, it is here on Mars where we debate Earth's destiny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's why they're coming over. we got to figure out what to do with Earth. <laughs> Everything's preordained, even my responses. You wrote down your responses already? I thought this was going to be like a free-flowing debate type thing. We're all puppets. <laughs> I'm just a puppet who can see the strings. <laughs> Let's go to the balcony. What? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You can see notice guardy mountains from here. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, that's uh, that's great. You wrote all your responses, and you're just going to say what you want no matter what. Earth is on the line here. This is where our conversation takes place. <laughs> it commences when you surprise me with the information that you've been sleeping with uh, Diger. Diger? Diger. You think I'd sleep with that guy? <laughs> no, not yet, but in a few moments you will. <laughs> I don't know if Diger's even on this planet. Destiny of the world. Did you bring Diger here so that he would fuck me? Because. <laughs> okay, good question. Why would you do this? Uh, you want to? You want to drive a wedge between us? I thought. I thought everything was good. There's no future. There's no past. Do you see? <laughs> I don't see. No. Time is simultaneous, an intricate, structured jewel that humans refuse to see more than one edge at a time. Do you want to smoke? <laughs> <laughs> I, I just think you're going a little off the rails. The whole design is visible through every facet. What is your earliest memory? <laughs> Oh, um, I guess my earliest memory is uh, playing blocks with my mom. We were building a little tower. I thought it was very funny uh, that we were building it. I see. Ah, oh, look, a dust storm form. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's not good for us on the balcony. We probably need to get back inside. You mean to tell me that you're sleeping with Tiger? <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, you said he was gonna come here. You said you were bringing him to Mars to fuck me. <laughs> no, my red planet means more to me than your blue planet. I can show you around if you'd like. Mars? Yeah, I know. We've been living here for 20 years. I know what Mars looks like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, show me your Mars. <laughs> <laughs> All this pain, conflict, done with. All this suffering, over. No, no, it doesn't bother me. You want to get rid of Mars too? All this generation suffering. What was the purpose I achieved? <laughs> well, I feel like to get us here. Oh, yes. there's effort. <laughs> We're living on Mars, to? dude. What it's it very to? cool. What did it lead to? Here, us, doing this. We're living on Mars. It's a technological achievement <laughs> past the bounds of the intellect of two, three hundred years ago. We've achieved so much. <laughs> so I don't want it to be destroyed? What? <laughs> it's like you're not even listening to me. <laughs> but are you listening to me? Oh, yes! <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to make a point about the suffering and the endless labor. You know, accomplishing nothing. Uh, people, you know, 
being empty and disillusioned, <laughs> leaving people broken. Everyone who lives here is a fucking billionaire. They have their little pods that they go in. No one's laboring. Maybe <laughs> under delusion. Maybe someone's laboring under delusion. It's you. Digar's not here. Digar's not fucking me yet. So obviously you didn't predict the future. <laughs> in my opinion, it's highly overrated phenomenon. I thought fucking me? <laughs> I don't know. Mars is doing know. great without even a single microorganism. Look, there's the South Pole. No life. Yeah. No life at all. <laughs> yeah, just giant steps, 90 feet tall, you know scoured it. by dust and wind. Are you creating a constant and <laughs> changing topographic map? You Swirling! Thrust <laughs> just right at the pole, thousands of years wide. And the tell Martians, me. the Martians, <laughs> tell me! Tell you what? Would this be greatly improved by an oil pipeline? I don't think so. No, I think it's fine how it is. Elon got us up here. We're living the life. We get rations. There's a Mars theme park we go to every week. I think we're doing okay. We don't need to get all existential and shit. No. Okay. So we're on the same page. I just read Adams. <laughs> Tiny atoms, yes. The ancient scriptures that led us to this, the birth of this rubble. Beside this, humans look brief and mundane. I guess. I mean, <laughs> I don't think it fucking matters, dude, is what I'm saying to you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, when the Steins come over and we talk about, like, if we're gonna keep doing stuff with Earth, where are we going to go back? Yeah, are you going to be like this? Are you going to chill the fuck out? Are you going <laughs> When's Digar coming to fuck me, huh? Because <laughs> now I'm horny. <laughs> Apologize. <laughs> it was a joke. I'm not apologizing. <laughs> I'm pointing out your insanity. <laughs> Paul, look, we are doing great. We're doing great. We got a little car on Mars. We go to the Mars theme park. We're hanging out with Steinos. This is the life. <laughs> <laughs> and if you need more than this, then I don't know what to give you. Look at that jumbled box canyon down there. <laughs> It's a beautiful box canyon. <laughs> beautiful. The volcanoes made it by boiling the, per the permafrost and uh, making some geysers. <laughs> you know, there, there could have been life here. There is. Yeah. There is life here now. <laughs> but like, the ground crumbled and the subterranean ice melted and then the reservoirs of water just gushed out creating rivers and then now it's, now it's dry <laughs> uh, okay life could have flourished here fine but Mars didn't choose life it chose this you're right you're right Mars made a bad decision <laughs> and I made a bad decision okay I see what you're trying to get me to do Digar and I have already been fucking. I fucked Digar, all right? Is that what you're trying to get at me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? You got into one of these moods, and I... I felt... needy. I'm not proud of it, okay? But you don't have to go through all this fucking bullshit to get me to do it. <laughs> to tell you. We, now you know and we can move past it. Laurie? <laughs> yes? No, you're alright. Uh, I mean, 
Now I'm a little keyed up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling a little keyed up. <laughs> I don't find your life meaningless. <laughs> 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 